Thank you, Mr. Speaker. National security is an issue that is top of mind for my constituents in Prince Edward Hastings and certainly all across Canada. Can the Minister of National Defence today update this House on what the budget introduced in this House by our government, what it'll do to ensure that our Canadian Armed Forces are ready to respond in the defence of Canada, both here and at home? Good question. Mr. Speaker, I thank the member for his commitment to the Canadian Armed Forces. You know, we recall that when the Liberals were in office, they slashed the budget for the Canadian Armed Forces. We had the decade of darkness, but under this Prime Minister's leadership, we have rebuilt the capabilities of our military, increasing the defence budget by 27 per cent to date. A massive, important new acquisitions, Mr. Speaker, new equipment. But in yesterday's budget, we had an historic commitment to an enormous, long-term, stable, predictable increase in funding for our men and women in uniform that will amount to nearly $12 billion over the course of a decade, Mr. Speaker. This government is standing with